If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. So before I get started, I just want to give a special shout out and a thanks to any and all who uh, donated during the live stream that I didn't get a chance to actually read out. So uh, shout out to Anthony, much love and appreciation. Shout out, shout out to Jordan, uh, shout out to David, and shout out to Miss Durant. Shout out to all of you guys for the donations to uh, the platform. Much love, respect, and appreciation. The world's major economic powers are moving away from the U.S. dollar and working towards creating a new global currency, the BRICS alliance, consisting of Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, is said to be collaborating on developing their own currency. This initiative is seen as a strategy for promoting shared objectives among the BRICS nations and reducing dependence on the United States. According to a top Russian official, the move towards a new global currency will boost trade relations between friendly nations. Amid the ongoing Russian Ukraine war, there is an opportunity for Moscow to explore more Indian markets and vice versa. With the aim of promoting a common currency, New Delhi, Beijing, and Moscow are the nations that now institute a multipolar world that is endorsed by the majority of governments. State Duma Deputy Chairman Alexander Babakov emphasized the need for a new currency that does not rely on the U.S. dollar or euro, but rather forms a new currency capable of benefiting shared objectives. Its composition should be based on industrial new monetary ties established on a strategy that does not defend the US, S dollar or Euro, but rather forms a new currency competent of benefiting our shared objectives. This initiative by Russia is seen as a step towards a multipolar world that is endorsed many of America's foes. However, the BRICS alliance poses a significant threat to the Biden administration in America. With a combined population of 3.1 billion people and a nominal GDP of $40 trillion, the BRICS alliance is a force to be reckoned with China as the largest member in terms of population, nominal GDP, and export value is positioned as the de facto leader of the group. This shift away from the U.S. dollar has significant implications for the global financial system. The U.S. dollar has been the dominant global currency for decades, with many countries holding significant reserves in U.S. dollars. The move towards a new global currency could challenge the dominance of the U.S. dollar, leading to significant changes in the global financial landscape. For the Biden administration, this shift away from the U.S. dollar could lead to a loss of economic influence and geopolitical power. The U.S. dollar's dominance has enabled the United States to impose economic sanctions on countries that do not comply with its policies. A shift towards a new global currency could make it more difficult for the U.S. to enforce these sanctions and limit its ability to exert economic pressure on other countries. The Biden administration will need to adapt to these changes and find new ways to maintain its economic influence and geopolitical power in this new multipolar world. So this is in a sense that this is something that is quite large, quite big, where you have these entities siding with Russia and working together in order to come up with a cryptocurrency, I'm not cryptocurrency, with a currency that will benefit all of them, right? And that means that also if anybody in the future wants to do any type of, you know, work with them, they have to deal with that cryptocurrency. They have to go through that. Which means that all of those parties will have their hand on that currency. All of those parties will get something monetarily from, you know, taking part in that partnership and that business ship. Right. And America is just going to be left out, on, out there on the cold. And I get it. As somebody who is American, I ain't mad at none of these countries for doing that. I ain't mad at Russia for doing what it is that they doing. Because as I stated before, all America had to do was in a sense mind a business or at least stay back not really say nothing just stay back try to be a, a mediator instead of directly choosing and picking a side but nah america decided to choose and pick a side like i said i wasn't with none of this from the very beginning at all 
America should have stayed out because America got its own business to to specifically deal with. We got our own sick, our own hungry, our own homeless. We, we have our own economy to worry about. So now instead of worrying about the debt, now instead of, you know, uh, worrying about the system and everything else in another financial collapse or recession, now we got to deal with this. And this is all America is doing. So now you got these entities doing it. Who's to say that other countries around the world won't join in and take part in this then that means that you're going to have less and less allies for america that means that sooner or later you might end up seeing everybody else shift against america now america is going to have to decide all right are we going to sit up there and take the hard route or are we going to just take the easy route and be like you know what we messed up we should have minded our own business y'all are right that would be the grown thing to do but America can never, in a sense, admit when it's wrong and admit when it should have just stayed out of other people's businesses, which led to the situation that we are currently in right now and also led to this article. So I get when a lot of you guys state that you're not really invested in the politics of everything and all of these other things. I 1000 percent get that and understand it. But always follow the money always follow the money so that you can get an understanding so that you can be ahead of the curve when certain things transpire and or happen. Like I said, irregardless on if you believe it in or not, or, or, or however it is that you feel, just make sure that you know the information so that if a conversation occurs, if anything is talked about in the media, you know, you can carry a conversation, you can have it, you can decipher every single thing that is taking place and that you are not left or lost in the dark. Again, this is why I just so happen to bring these stories directly up to you guys so that it'll be a little bit of a light. And you guys, if you feel like it, you could decide to delve a little bit deeper, find out some more information, try to you know figure out if other parties are going to try to be involved and potentially see if this will have a negative effect on the United States in the future and where it is that we will stand when it comes to the world stage.